we want to write what's called a recursive <coughs> formula. Um, before we get to recursive formula, let's just have a couple reminders about notation. Okay, so if I have a sub one, that's just representing the first term. So for example, a sub one, the first number in this is seven, so that would be our first term, a sub one. If I had a sub five, that would be the fifth one. So like here's a sub one, a sub two, a sub three, a sub four. A sub five would be the very next one. And then a sub n just represents any of the terms, like which one? I don't know, let's call it n. And then the key to recursive formulas is the notation here. A sub n minus one stands for the one that came before it. So if I decide that this is a sub n, then this is a sub n minus one. If this is a sub n, then this is a sub n minus one. This notation just says it's the one that came before it. And we're gonna build a formula based on the number that came before it. So let's just take a look here really quick at this particular one. A sub one in this particular problem is, God bless you, is seven. Okay, so there's our first one there. And then the recursive formula, we need to figure out how are we moving from one term to the next. So to get from here to here, maybe we're multiplying by two, or maybe we're adding seven. But let's test that out. If I add seven, I'm not gonna get to 28. So it must have been multiplying by two. Seven times two is 14, 14 times 28 is, is uh, um, sorry, 14 times two is 28. So how can I figure out this one? I would go to the one that came before it and then multiply it by two. So the notation for that is, <coughs> Every single time you're writing a recursive <coughs> formula, you're gonna have an a sub n minus one because that represents what came before it. And then what I'm doing to the term before it, in this case, is multiplying by two. So I'm gonna put a two times it. So it's two times the one that came before it. The reason why in fine print they say for numbers n greater than or equal to two is the first term, nothing came before that one. So I can't use this on something, I can't find this one by looking at the one that came before it. So this is just a little bit of fine print here. Okay, so let's, let's put that in action a few different times. Trying to think of the pattern here to get from 16 to five, it's going down and I'm thinking, mm, maybe we're subtracting 11. Let's try it out. Then five minus 11 gives me negative six. Negative six minus 11 more gets me to negative 11. So to answer my questions, first off, a sub one <coughs> is 16. So there's my first term. Now, how do I get to every single term? I take the one before it and then subtract 11. And the notation for the one before it is a sub n minus one. I know it looks kind of crazy, but this just represents the words, the one that came before it. Then I'm going to subtract 11. Okay, so let's look at two more here. In this one, the oops, a sub one is seven. And then looking for the pattern there, it's increasing. And to get from seven to 19, let's try adding 12. Then 19 plus 12 gets me to 31. 31 plus 12 gets me to 45. So we found our pattern. So how am I gonna describe how to get any term? Well, I'm gonna go to the one before it and then add 12. So the notation for the one that came before it is a sub n minus one, and then we just Add 12. Okay, last example. 
the a sub one, our first term here, is 10, boom, okay, and then trying to get from one number to the next, I might think, well, am I subtracting 40? But if I try subtracting 40 again, I don't get 90. So if I multiply 10 by negative three, 10 times negative three is <coughs> negative 30, then we'll multiply by negative three again. Negative 30 times negative three is positive 90. Positive 90 multiplied by negative three is negative 270. So how am I getting from one term to the next? Any given term, a sub n, is going to be the one that came before it times negative three. So if I want to write negative three multiplied the, by the one that came before it, that's going to be negative three times a sub n minus one. <coughs> 